so we're getting a nice sizzling action going on. Your salmon is done. Yes. <laughs> Welcome to yet another episode of Cola Vita's olive oil series with Elena and Ken. Woohoo! <laughs> so today we're going to pan fry, and to demonstrate pan frying, we are going to show you some pan fried eggplant. Yes, right. We are. So show us what we have for the breading. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is a standard setup with okay. flour, egg wash, breadcrumbs. And this is just straight flour. We have not seasoned the flour. That's Correct. not something I'm a fan of because salt, pepper, and flour are all different weights, right? right. So the salt is kind of heavy. It's gonna sink to the bottom. The mm -hmm. pepper's kind of light. It sits on top. So that means the first stuff that goes through is very peppery and has not too much salt. And the last stuff going through has no pepper and lots of salt. And so- um, So instead you season the eggplant itself. Correct, right. Okay. Season the eggplant with salt and pepper. In this case, we peeled the eggplant first. Yeah, let's um, take a look at these guys. And so we have nice peeled eggplant yep. that we and we with salt, salt. salted them a little bit, which draws some moisture out of them and can take a bit of the the bitterness out as well. Well, uh, why don't you take us through the the breading process, and we can show everyone how that's right. done. So in the flour here, we want to dredge them, get them in there, coat them, and you know you kind of want to shake that off a little bit. Any excess is going to end up falling off Into in the there, egg. and then the egg doesn't stick to the eggplant. Yeah which is a challenge, so uh, we'll do a couple of pieces at a time here. Okay, now, what other things could you pan fry aside from eggplant? As you know, it's a very versatile cooking method. It is, so pan frying, you wanna think about things like a Sicilian chicken. Yes. So you could take chicken thighs, boneless, skinless, mm -hmm. or breasts that you know are pounded, okay. and then those can be uh, breaded and pan fried. We could do stuffed eggplant, oh, nice. right? Mm -hmm. We could do pan fried shrimp. Mm -hmm. uh, you could have squash fish, blossoms? squash blossoms squash that would blossom. be great batter. <laughs> yes. Right? Now talk to me about a batter. What are some typical uh, kinds of batters that you might use? So, I mean, well, listen, you could use a beer batter, mm -hmm. right? Which would be nice. You could have a tempura style batter, something that's gonna be kind of light and yes. airy. Mm -hmm. So, you know, any standard batter, making sure that you get them on the sides as well. Yes, you don't wanna leave the sides out. We need them evenly coated in breadcrumbs. Yeah. And one of the things that you want to make sure that you do here is to bread these in advance. So an hour to two hours in advance would be great, no more than four hours or so. Let's talk a little bit about our setup, first of all. Let's discuss it. Yes. <laughs> Let's discuss the setup. Tell me about your pan. So <laughs> my pan is mm -hmm. a heavy bottom, high sided pan. Yes. We want to make sure that we have high sides so that in case there's a little bit of oil that's going to splatter, yeah. that it protects us and it keeps the area clean around you. Yep. Um, heavy bottom for even temperature. Mm -hmm. And the oil that we're going to use yes. um, is going to be extra virgin for this. And we've put just not too much in the bottom here. You know, maybe like a quarter of an inch at the bottom, maybe Yeah, even. I think it's about an eighth of an inch. Yeah. And how we're gonna gauge that mm -hmm. is based on the item for us to pan fry. Okay. So the eggplant was it's cut relatively thin. thin, not more than a quarter of an inch. And again, we want the oil to be roughly halfway up the sides. Right. And so, you know, one of the things that we have here is we have a, a ramekin. little ramekin with a spoon, a spoon. Because keep in mind that once, as we add product, the oil level is going to increase, so we right? We're displacing. So you mm -hmm. can take a little bit out. Okay. And if it's too cold, the breading is going to absorb the oil yeah, and then you, you get, get a greasy soggy, product. Um, right. It won't get crunchy crispy. If yeah. it's too hot, you burn them as you put it in. And so, so how would you test for the appropriate amount of hotness? <laughs> I thought you might ask that yes. question. So <laughs> I, want, a, I want tricks. <laughs> there's a couple of different methods mm -hmm. here. One is that you can just take a little bit of breadcrumbs and put them in there. Ooh, look at that sizzle. And once you see them start to sizzle there, you know that the oil is getting hot. You see if they you know burn right away or if mm -hmm. they brown. Uh, you know, it's, you can regulate the heat from there. And I think. I don't have my glasses on, but I'm gonna put them on now because it looks like it's getting pretty dark mm -hmm. relatively quickly. So I'm gonna lower the temperature of this all the way down and just pull this off the heat just for a minute. Okay. And utensils, let's talk about that, right? Yes. 
tongs to or an offset spatula. Mm -hmm. And you see you have a nice sizzle there. It starts our, to bubble around our, the edges of the eggplant. Our level is good. Mm -hmm. Now I notice you're putting these in very gently. Yes. Don't want to be splashing these things around. The oil is very hot. And you lay them away from you. True, true, true. Now right. you're also leaving a good amount of room, right? Because if you crowd the pan, the temperature of the oil will come down. Exactly, right? Mm -hmm. So same same principle as we talked about. Why, thank you very much. You're welcome. And you can use tongs. The one caveat there is be really careful with the tongs because you also run the risk of breaking up the breading, knocking or the breading right off. piercing right through your eggplant, right. perhaps. <laughs> and nobody likes a pierced eggplant. No one. So I asked around. Um, <laughs> we want to watch our temperature closely here. Okay. And if you see now, you see how you know the oil level is coming straight up the sides yeah, there. Want to take a and little bit off. Yeah, I'd like to just take a a little mm -hmm. bit out of there. Now for. An eggplant cutlet about this size, maybe about two minutes per side. Yeah, I think depending on the, the temperature when you know you first go into there, mm -hmm. it's gonna be roughly anywhere from two minutes to three minutes per side. And then again, obviously, you know, we talk about doing a veal milanese right. um, or pork, depending on the thickness. We also talked about the Sicilian yes. uh, fried chicken. All of those factors are gonna determine the time. how much time. And then of course, obviously poultry. Uh, right. You want to cook that for, right. you know, Long nobody wants time. salmonella. No. So one of the things you can do is also gently move the pan around. And I like that you checked the eggplant, you know, unlike yeah. when you saute where you want to keep that protein on the pan surface until yep. it releases, you can kind of take a peek under the hood and see how we're doing. You can, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. and, and hopefully, unless you really did some bad things, it's not going to be sticking. No, it, it looks like we're doing, we're coming along swimmingly as they say. Oh. That was cute. I, like I got that. that. Oh, yeah. cute. Swimmingly. Very cute. All right, so what do we have over here? Oh, we have our baking sheet here that I have just lined with a paper towel so we can absorb any excess oil that's going to come off of the eggplant. And ooh, so oh, so pretty. Those are almost those ready are really to go. Good. And so these guys can lie in wait while their friends jump in the oil and we'll be all right. Now we should talk a little bit about our presentation that we're going for um, after these guys are nicely pan fried. We are going to do a beautiful appetizer plate. As we said in the beginning, you could do an eggplant parmesan where you would finish this in the oven with layers of mozzarella and tomato sauce. But instead, we're going to do something a little avant-garde. Oh, I mean, I think as we are? when it comes to eggplant, what? <laughs> we're going to put together a nice appetizer. Oh, plate. okay. <laughs> I forgot to tell you, didn't I? Oh, you did. Yeah. You did. All right. Well, <laughs> we're going to put together an appetizer plate with some whipped regatta cheese, some fresh herbs. Um, you could add in some sliced tomatoes if they're in season, which would be late summer, August, September ish. Why would you peel the eggplant skin off? Yeah, so it's not something that you have to do. That's okay. definitely will be according to your preference. Mm -hmm. Eggplant skin it's a little tough. is a little tough, yeah. right? So depending on how the dish is cooked, it can end up coming off of there in you know large pieces and yeah. can give you a little bit of a challenge, right? I, I agree. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna take these out now. And okay. you know, I think there's uh, there's something important to talk about here. Let's just say you had a really large batch to do, yeah. right? So you could keep going in there, but at this point where you're starting to see where you're getting some of the breadcrumbs are just beginning to get a Are little you bit wanna dark. you clean out your oil at all? So what you can do is you can pour off the top, mm -hmm. and as long as you haven't really abused the oil from a time and temperature standpoint, yeah. you'll be able to use that oil a couple of times. So maybe right? have a nice glass bowl handy or something. Yeah, you could pour, pour it off, and then right? clean that out. Wipe it out and right start all over it. again. Right. I like that idea. Because otherwise you're going to end up getting some of these little brown Or wasting a lot of oil if you just bits. throw out the baby with the bath water. Right. <laughs> yeah. So we have assembled this beautiful appetizer plate and we put in some accessories to our eggplant. Yeah, we have some dipping sauces, mm -hmm. uh, some marinara sauce, some pesto, some ricotta with some fresh peppercorns yes. on there. And I'm going to finish our ricotta with a little extra virgin olive oil drizzle. That's perfect. Mm -hmm. Outstanding. And Looks that, delicious. It, it really does, actually. I want to yeah. try one of those guys. Yeah. So, you know, you could put this along a nice roasted chicken, uh, an appetizer or a side dish to your a roasted chicken, perhaps. Could be a segue. Could be a segue to our next episode. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> but if you're looking for the recipe, you can find it very easily on colavitarecipes.com. Exactly. And thank you so much for joining us today. Please continue to follow along with Colavita's olive oil series with Elena and Ken. Buon appetito. Did you mention that you could turn this into eggplant parmesan? I did. Did you mention that? I did. See, I was really out of it. <laughs> he was into his pan frying. I was. I was checking my That's eggplant. A really